Delmont musician wanted to be a great musician. So he went to his friends. He, things were not working out. Things were really bad. Went to one of his friends to meet him, the Kai Bros. In Lagos, you know in Lagos, they can do anything to get to the top. He so said, this is not clicking well. He said, you want it to click? I'll show you somewhere. So he carried him to a Baba Lawa so that you help the thing click well. So the Baba Lawa asked him that, Ross, do you want, are you ready for what I'm about to tell you? He said, Baba, anything that will make me blow, I will do it. Even in the Christianity, there is something that will make you blow. Can you do it? He said, anything Baba, that will make me blow. Do you know what unbelievers do in the office to climb to the top? And they go do anything. They can quack you. They can tell lies about you. They can go to Baba Laos. Now the Christian, he doesn't have time to pray for his work in the office. You know that spending time with God can give you just one direction. You are gone forever. Forever. The Holy Spirit said, no, go this route today. Do you know there are miracles flying everywhere in the air? We have not just caught it. We have not. And you will catch it in Jesus' name. Amen. You can't be a casual Christian and want to get the result of the people who are going to think deep. People are calling it. People are collecting people's money. Do you know what that man sacrificed? Babala will call the man. He say, I will tell you this thing. Are you ready? He say, yes, I'm ready, sir. He say, okay. Follow me. Follow him to the room. He say, tomorrow, you come back here by 12 midnight. And you are entering this place. When you come, carry a casket. Bring it inside this shrine yourself. 12 midnight. Is that okay? Baba Lao Waka Komote on. If you don't do it, you are gone. You do it, you are on your own. The young man said, I will do it. He brought the casket the next day. Twelve. Before twelve, he was there. My wife won't have an appointment with God. We know they even keep the time. Because you think the man is not doing all those gimmicks they do. That's why some of us fall into the hands of wrong prophets. Because when they do those gimmicks, we believe that no, this one should be real. When a man is not doing gimmicks, you don't think that he can be real. Because the thing is too casual. Oh, he brought the casket and dropped it. Drop the casket on the floor. The man said, okay, this is the gimmick, the game. You are going to enter inside this casket. And we are going to seal the casket for the next three days. After three days, if you make it, you don't blow if you don't make it, you don't go. <laughs> so that is what the world is doing to go to the top. How many times have you waited upon the Lord concerning your ministry? How many times have you locked yourself inside the room? Look at him. Come on, this man. He locked himself. Casket, not room. The guy entered. He didn't, he didn't look twice. Say, if I go, die, I die. And those people who say, if I die, that never dies. You need to make up your mind. Christianity is not a... Just a cheap game. He entered. The man carried the nails. Long nails. Not the hammering. But, but, sealed the casket. All. In quest to blow. What have you done to blow your own blow? Everybody can blow. But are you willing? Are you ready to invest in your children? If you send that person's children in the globe, they are doing fine. You think that it just work one day? No, something was done. If you see a marriage working well, something was done. That means for the three days, if that guy wants to wee wee, he wee wee where? He said he tried the casket. A sacrifice. 
That means within three days, if he wants to pee, poo, he didn't brush his mouth for three days for a dream. Whatever business you do, you need to sacrifice for it. Spend time on your knees. Don't just go out and be confused. Ask, is this the road you come back? Is this the road? You just keep asking for roads. It's just that the enemy, when he comes, if he kill you, if he give you, he's collecting here. But they get the result. They normally get it. It's just that the Bible said the end is what? Destruction. One young man came and met me and said, Sir, this Christian music I'm doing is not working for me. I want to be like, so he started calling names. I said, no. That one will lead you.